ladies and gentlemen, my name is WillieWoo.com. I'm a stand-up comedian singer, and this is uh, episode number five at Starbucks. WillieWoo.com comedy show at Starbucks, episode number five. We're here at the Rainbow Starbucks, and um, be sure to visit us on YouTube. I'm going to sing you a song that's made very popular by a Hawaiian Mr. Lee, sung by Don Ho and Elvis Presley. It's called I'll Remember You. Thank you. Anion. Anion. Is gone. I'll be lonely, Ooh, so lonely, living alone. To remember you, oh, yes, darling. I'll remember. Your voice as soft as a warm summer breeze. Oh, Yoko, your sweet laughter, mornings after, ever after, I'll remember you. Yoko, Yoko, I remember you. To your arms someday. I'll return to stay till then. I'll remember you. Every bright stars we have made to shine. Oh, look me always. And promise of this. Ooh, you remember too. Oh, Yobo, remember the time we were in Hawaii and we're holding hands and we're walking the beach of Waikiki. And you looked at me with your big round eyes and you looked up and you said, Woo, -woo I love you. And honey, you know, my heart was like an ice cube and it melted into water. Yes, mucho, mucho, mucho agua. Oh, I love you. To your arms someday, I'll return to stay till then. I'll remember times we had in Hawaii and we shared those moments intimate moments of our lives together well honey I'm waiting for you here in Las Vegas at the Starbucks here on Rainbow please take the next United Airlines and from Shanghai and fly over here I'll pick you up at the McLaren Airport in Las Vegas and I'll take you to Chinatown and we'll have lobster Cantonese yes uh, I'm glad to, to entertain you today. It's a beautiful day. It's about 92 degrees Fahrenheit here in Las Vegas. This is episode number five. WillieWoo.com, stand-up comedian at Starbucks. Episode number five. Uh, you might want to check YouTube. 
and type in episode number one, willywoo.com, episode number two, three, four. This is number five. Today is uh, March 14th. It happens to be Steph Curry's birthday today. I believe it is. And I like to sing the song dedicated to Steph Curry, the point guard of the Golden State Warriors. Two times MVP of the NBA. And uh, this song is a very famous song made very popular uh, by Elvis Presley. I claim that he's my half-brother by another mother, by another father, by another cousin, by another father, and another mother. I hope you like it. Can't help but fall in love. Wise men say Only fools rush in for I can't help falling in love with Steph Curry. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin? Philadelphia like a river flows surly to the sea darling so it goes some things are meant to be so take my hand take my whole life Oh, honey, my heart's pounding for you. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. Like a river's close to live to the sea. Darling, so it goes. So to be Steph Curry, for I can't help falling in love with you. Go Warriors! Happy birthday, Steph Curry. Have a wonderful day today. It's your birthday. Well, you know, I'm a stand-up comedian singer. I came over from China when I was four years old. That's true. I don't have an accent because when I came over, I had to learn English 101. They taught me A, B, C, A, E, I, O, U. And the teacher, when I go to the first day of class, the teacher says, Willie, how are you? Uh, teacher, I'm okay. No, Willie, you an American now? You have to say, so far, so good. Teacher, I'm not gonna say that, teacher. Why, Willie? because it's depressing. I'm 10,000 miles from China. I don't want to say so far so good. No, it's depressing. So, I never said so far so good. I say okay. Not until I was 21. I still single, no ring on my fingers, single man. You know, not fat like I am now. Skinny, you know, tall, skinny, dark, handsome. No marriage ring, you know in my pocket is so big hanging out as a USA passport, okay? So I saved money washing dishes at a Chinese restaurant and I bought a round trip ticket to Shanghai, China as a single man. So I took the plane ride, it was about 16 hours and 
long trip and I was so tired. I get off the airplane, the plane landed in Putung Airport in Shanghai. The airplane landed, I got out, I looked for a taxi, no taxi. And then this Chinese guy driving a Toyota van. I say, you're not taxi? No, I'm a Shanghai Uber, Uber, Shanghai man, come on in. Uh, oh, how, how. Where you like to go? Oh, I'm a single man, take me to the best place. Oh, sir, Xing I take you to the best place. It's called Susi Wong number 10. Oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. You know, this is the best place. So he goes driving through town. He takes me to Susi Wong number 10, okay? Beautiful nightclub, you know? All the gold in the front door. And I walk in, there's uh, guys in suits, you know, open the door. I come in. Oh, I feel like a king, you know? King of USA or president. Was, and they all say, oh, sir, ni hao, ma, ni hao, ni hao. Come on, come on in. So as soon as I take two steps into the door, all the women, I can't believe, their eyes are going like boom, 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 like a sniper in the army, you know, with the rifle, boom, boom, boom. They see me, choo, choo, choo. they see what? They see no ring, choo, choo, choo. what do they see? USA passport. They smile, ooh, oh, so many women, they come lining up. Oh, honey, oh, you nice, you cute. What's your name? Oh, my name is Debbie. Debbie. Oh, oh, baby, you're cute. Uh, you just come to Shanghai? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. You know, tonight we show you good time. So the music and everything. And and then ask me, how you doing, Willie? And you know what I said? I look at them. I look at their eyes. They're tall, slender, hair straight down to their hips. Their hair smell like baby shampoo. I said, oh. Baby, 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 I feel so close, so good. Yeah, so finally, I don't say so far so good, but so close, so good. Now, coming over here, we had difficulty with the language too, you know. They say, you know, bring home the bread. In China, we say bring home the rice. We don't say bring home the bread. So here they say bring home the bread, bring home the bacon. And I never could understand what that all meant. And then my cousin, Jimmy Fong, he's much older, he's a high school guy. He came over, he took English 101, and the teacher said, Welcome to the United States, Jimmy. You must learn this very important word. Yeah, teacher, what is that? Well, the word is grand, G-R-A-N-D. Teacher, what does that mean? That means $1,000. So Jimmy was from a poor village in China. He slept on dirt floors. And when he came over here to the United States, he still was poor. He had struggled with the language and getting a job. So he was, he was doing running around with his high school buddies, stealing stuff, stealing merchandise. He was stealing. And Robert, his classmate, said, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy Fong, you better be careful. You're going to get arrested by the police and thrown in jail for grand theft. Robert, no way, baby. No way. I'm smart, man. I don't steal nothing more than $1,000. So no grand theft. Well, he got trouble anyway. I'm gonna sing you one more song. This is uh, dedicated to my boss, Mr. JC. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, it's called Always On My Mind. It was once uh, sung by Elvis Presley, also by Will Willie Nelson. This is dedicated to my big boss up in heaven, Mr. JC, Jesus Christ. Always on my mind. Always. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. If I'm